Good morning. Hey, it's Pastor Norm again here at Lapine Christian Center. And uh, there you go. Now you can get a you can get an idea of what I actually look like if I'm out here in the sun, right? You know, uh, didn't mean to, but that goes right along with what we're talking about today for just a couple moments is this, is the scripture says in Romans 1, 16 and 17, it says this, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. I am not ashamed of the good news of Jesus Christ. Guys, we can't be ashamed. I am not ashamed of the gospel of, uh, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, who believes. To the Jew first and also to the Greek, for it is in, in it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith as it is written, but the righteous man shall live by faith. Beloved, today we need to take on that righteousness of God. We need to take on the mindsets of God. And I wrote this in my notes to leaders this morning, was that the mindsets of God are revealed clear as we grow in faith. The mindsets of God are revealed clearer as we grow in faith. That means that as we go about our days, as we go about what God has gifted us, as we go about what God has for us and, and, and just abide in his word and abide in his presence, he is better, more clearly revealed to us, which is exactly what we need, isn't it? It's exactly what we need to hear and see and know. And, uh, and here's the day, deal. As that happens, as we grow in faith, let's unashamedly reveal the Lord. Let's unashamedly reveal the Lord. We need to remember that God wants to be revealed in the world because sometimes the enemy tells us, well, nobody wants to know what God has to say or nobody wants to know of the, the reason for uh, the hope that's in you. But that's like saying that somebody who's drowning in the ocean doesn't want you to rescue them. That's like saying that somebody who's stranded on a snowy mountain doesn't want to be rescued. That's that's the same as saying that the person who ran out of gas doesn't want your help to go get some gas so they can get where they're going and, and be safe or, or just the same here in our area. That's like saying that somebody who is, has gone off the side of the road into the snow bank that's four to six feet full of snow doesn't want your help to get out and to save the life of their entire family, their little kids and, and their elderly and stuff. You see, it's a lie of Satan. It's a lie of the enemy of our lives and the lives of those that God is calling us to talk to, to not reveal God to them or to say that they don't want to know. Well, they do want to know. Now, their flesh may not want to know. <laughs> their, uh, it, the influence of Satan in their lives doesn't want to know. The, uh, the, the lust of the flesh and the pride of life and the lust of the eyes doesn't want to know. Doesn't want to hear about Jesus. But the spirit man is designed to know about Jesus. It's designed to uh, listen to and hear and respond to the message of Christ. And so we are given the gift of the ministry of reconciliation we don't deserve ever. We never deserve what God has gifted us to share. You know, if we got what we deserve, well, I'd surely not be here right now. <laughs> and that's the same for all of us. That's the thing. You know, I talk about that stuff and sometimes people think, my, well, maybe they might think, I think they might think that, you know, that I just make do a lot of dumb things. But reality is, is the closer I get to God, the more that I care about the small details. And I, and I know you're the same way. And the deal, again, as always, God wants what's best for you. And God wants what's best for me. And God wants what's best for my family. And God wants what's best for your family. God wants to reveal himself to us more fully every single day. And God wants to use us in ways that we don't deserve. God wants to use us in ways that we, even what we haven't been uh, clearly trained in, but yet God knows when he, when he gives you something to do, when he says, you go reveal myself to, to somebody else, go reveal him to somebody else, he knows what you know and what you don't know. And the Holy Spirit can come upon and 
and enable you to do infinitely more than you could ask or hope for. God wants you to succeed, not because he wants you to, to uh, get a bigger halo, because I don't just don't think that's really one of those possibilities out there. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed of the good news of what Jesus has done. I'm not ashamed to work for him. I'm not ashamed to be his kid. I'm not ashamed to that he is supernatural. I'm not ashamed that, that he wants to use me to touch people's lives and, and to use me to lay hands on and pray and expect healing. And, and it's okay that people don't, you know, some don't agree that that even happens. I don't care. That's too bad. It's too bad that they forfeit getting to enjoy all the gifts and blessings of God. It's too bad that, that they don't, they might not be agreed to that. And if that's you today, can you do me a favor? Would you read the word of God and would you prove to yourself, and you're welcome to get a hold of us, but would you prove to yourself that God is no longer supernatural? And I'll, I'll tell you what you're going to find. You're going to find that God not only is still supernatural, but God is abundantly above everything we could ask or hope for. God want, God has things that he wants to do and things that he wants to accomplish, like reaching out to kids. God wants to do things like reaching our families and our friends and our loved ones way beyond what we think is possible. And by the way, as I'm walking here in this familiar ground where the sprinklers attacked me a couple of weeks ago, I'm not worried today because here's what I know. The pump's off. <laughs> We're waiting for parts today. We've had no water for a few days uh, for the most part. And uh, I had to take one of them, our old fashioned spit bath things. And you know what? That's good because just like this, this time that we're in right now, we're, we're relearning how to survive and how to, how to hang in there and how to accomplish things that God has us to accomplish. And you know, I'm finding that this is a time when we need to not forget that God can do infinitely more than we could ask or hope. God has blessed us and taken care of us and God is watching over us the other day. I'll just say this, the other day I prayed for my wife. She didn't even know I prayed this prayer, but I just asked God to bless her teeth. She's had struggles with, uh, you know, she didn't get my enamel, you know, and, and she's one of those that, that had, uh, uh, I guess, weak enamel. But I prayed for her teeth and he, she went into the, the dentist yesterday and he was, and he's like, you know, you don't have any major problems in here. In fact, things that others had said were a problem before, he said, no. Those aren't a problem. Can I just tell you, I think God does heal because we pray. God does touch because we pray. And here's again, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it is not okay for us to be so. We need to remember that the word of God and the work of God and the things that God wants to accomplish in this world is far greater. It's super above nature. It's supernatural. God wants to do supernaturally, abundantly above everything we could ask or hope. In fact, he wants to do it with you and he wants to do it with me. Well, God bless you. Thanks for hanging out today. Pastor Norm Soyster, you be blessed. God bless. Bye-bye.